hello again. Next exercise is single strokes with accents, 56 beats per minute. Let's get it. Here we are, single strokes with accents. Can I zoom in a little bit? Uh, zoom in a bit more. Can you still see them all? I think I can. Yes, I can. So, 56 beats per minute. I'm just going to check. I'm sure it says 56 beats per minute for this single strokes with accents. Yep, so that's the minimum tempo. So that's the speed we'll play it at, 56 beats per minute for now. Okay, and again, when you're comfortable with it, you would gradually increase it up, increase the tempo. So, demi semi quavers, let's get a feel for the speed the demi semi quavers are at, at 56 beats per minute. So they'll be here. Quite a chilled out speed. So you're just playing through the demi semis and following the accents where they are in the music. So they're groups of eight, it says. So basically one beat to the next, one beat to the next. So you've got them on the right, on the right again, and then left, and left again. So that noise you heard, that's a school bell at Preston Lodge. Great bell. Right, let's try that whole line repeated. One, two, go. Right, right, and again. And then left. Repeated. And then left. And left. Done. And I'm going to give the metronome a half beat. Let's go one and. So you might find that that's easier having that wee click beat in between. So I'm going to try that line again. Ready, one, two, go. And right, then left, and left. Repeated, right, right, then right, right, and left, and left. Grand. So the key to that with the accents is lifting up the accents but not having the drumstick pointing towards Jupiter when you're doing it. Right, we don't need to be that high. Just that little bit higher than the opposite tap. Those that aren't accents, notice how I'm bringing it down, okay? Just like that. Our next line is the exact same again, except instead of stopping on that tap, we're just going to keep going. Take it, 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 Tap. Key to that is keeping the low taps low. So when you're doing the accents on the right, the left hand does not need to come up at all. It stays low. Okay? And whatever the left hand is, the right hand's going to match it as soon as you play the accents. Same with left. Left hand will be coming up for the accents. Right hand does not need to come up at all. It stays low. And whatever the right hand is, the left hand is going to match it. Right, let's try it. Ready, one, two, go. Then left. Then right. Then left. Done. Again, please practice these if you need to. Now, moving on to groups of four. So it's still the same speed, demi semis. You're just not going to go da 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 You're going to get da 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 There's a bell again. All right, it must be the end of lunchtime. Yeah. da 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 Miss da 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 So this will be handy having that half beat because you're going to accent on every single one of them. And left. So the key to that one, for me, I feel, is getting comfortable with the loud, soft, loud. Because if I play that, but take the left hand out, you're going, your right hand's going loud, soft, loud, soft, loud. Same with left. If I do the left one, but take the right hand out, you get, 
So you could practice them. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You could sit and do that for as long as you want. All right. As long as it accents louder than this tap in between it and it's under control. If you feel like sticks flying about everywhere, then you need to slow it down and play it until you feel that the accent's under control and the tap after the accent's under control. Same left. All right, and as I said before, we're not needing that. We're not needing that. All right, control everything. So that'll be da -da 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 tap. One, two, go. And right again. Move to left. And left again. Repeated. And then left. Done. And try that again if you need to. So we're going to move on to the last line. Is it the last line? Yes, it is. Last line. Same as we've done before. You're just going to keep going. So instead of doing the crotchet there, you're just going to keep playing. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Then left. Boom. Let's do it. Ready. One, two, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Swap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to right. Then left. And that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs, whoever you are, is the whole page. So I think a good exercise for us would be to play the whole page top to bottom. So, reminder of the first line. Okay, no accents in between. And we'll play each line repeated and stop at the bottom of the page. Ready, one, two, repeats. And left, left. Repeat it back to right. Then left. Next line. Left. Repeat it. Then left. Next line. Groups of four. Repeated. And left. Last line. Then left. Repeated. Then left. Done. And that's the whole page finito. All right, done. So again, 56 beats per minute is the minimum speed for that that you need to do for this exam. If you feel like that's quite hard to control, as in like it's maybe a bit slow, if you're a bit stronger, you can take it up. But the whole page would need to be the same speed. So if you're taking it up to a brisk 70, for example, the whole page needs to be the same speed. As I always say, 56, if you're capable of pulling it back, then go with that, all right? Because it's easier to play it at a more relaxed speed. And if you're quite tense, or slowing everything down, it's probably going to help relax you a little bit, okay? So, as always, practice those. And our next exercise is triplets, accent in the second and third stroke. I'm going to quite like that one. So, look forward to that video.